Hello, I'm artist C. Greed. Welcome to my gallery. I'm here with United Color. Hello? Hello? Who this? New phone, who this? I remember riding in the Hummer with the crew lit, too lit. New phone, who this? So, I would like to start with some insight into your creative journey. Like, when did art first grab a hold of you? It started when I was like eight years old. Um, my mom was always doing arts and crafts. So instead of sitting in front of the TV, I was always grabbing her materials and painting away. And she would frame my stuff and take it to little local art shows. So I think, you know, it started at a young age, probably around eight years old. Yeah, definitely. definitely. She, she instilled the creative gene in me for sure. So then your early works, like, then what was the source? I mean, obviously your mom was a source of inspiration. But what were your early works at? Like, what would you paint? What, where did you get your inspiration to take a brush to paper and what would you paint? Well, a lot of it as a young kid were some of my favorite athletes. I was a big Michael Jordan fan, um, played basketball, football, baseball since I was like six years old all the way up to high school. So as a small kid, I was always painting my favorite basketball players or sports athletes and stuff like that. And so do you have any of that art? left remaining my mom has a lot of it stored away she actually sent me one of my pieces that i won a first place ribbon at one of the craft craft fairs so she felt that i should have it i don't really show anyone it but uh i'm sure someday i will we're going to talk a little bit about your process you had mentioned that andy warhol was a big inspiration go ahead and tell me a little bit about that pop culture and and you know, what brought you to the stenciling and, and where you are today? Well, as a kid, you know, developing my style and getting more into art, um, I started stenciling. And then uh, in the 80s, after Warhol passed away, there was like a show about him. And it kind of showed a lot of his process. And I was like, wow, the process is very similar to mine. But, you know, at the time when he was doing that process, Technology has kind of advanced a lot, so I felt that like my process, you know, to take the stenciling in the bigger would be cool because I'd be like my own machine and I do every stage of my work from drawing it to cutting it out to actually painting it where there was no technology or no other machines doing the work for me. So, and for me, there's times where I'm working on something and I'm like, man, that, this is a crazy process is going to take a lot of time but for me when I do it and I'm finished with it I know that there's not too many other people that will go through that intenseness that goes into sitting there focused on something so long so my fire kind of burns in a different way too I like to do above and beyond what I know most people would just be like ugh this is tedious you know but for some reason that inspires me. <laughs> so what are you trying to express through your creativity? Well, uh, that's a hard question because for me, I have my own personal likes and, and things that I'm into that intrigue me or fascinate me. I can't say that I make artwork that is geared to anybody else. I kind of do what makes me happy mostly. Um, I mean, I do have work that I put messages out or I want to kind of provoke a thought in someone with certain pieces but for the most part I mean I just do interesting things with pop culture because I know there's just so many people that gravitate towards certain icons or brands or something so I think you know I kind of just let it out there and let the audience get intrigued by it and let it pull whoever the person that has a connection with it. So where did that come from, the, the idea to take the major brands? I mean, when did you just think, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a Louis Vuitton, or I'm gonna take a Versace, or I'm gonna do an Apple product? Well, I uh, kind of get intrigued by different designers. You know, a lot of people look at a brand and go, oh, it's high end, it's expensive, I got it, people will think, something of me, whatever. Well, I look at it differently. I actually do my research about the brands and the, the person behind it. And that intrigues me and about what I make and the things that I create, you know, and how they take 
the integrity of these brands, I think. And that's that integrity that I pulled from these brands and the people that had created these brands like Coco Chanel. I mean, I just dove into her life and Carl Lagerfeld and what they've done and, this, and Carl still does to keep the integrity of the brand. And that has kind of ignited a fire through my work because I want to take that integrity and put it into my work and, and keep that integrity rolled out so people will maybe think of my work with integrity and is a, a level like that. Were you always on the path to become an artist? I think so. I think it was a God-given gift to me. Um, kind of, sorry I get a little emotional about that one actually because art's really like my life. But uh, um, yeah, uh, I felt that the path was laid right in front of me. It was like, here's your trail. Do you want to take it? Do you want to burn it? Yeah, it was just up to me to take it. And I felt at that time in my life, I, I love it so much. Whether I was getting paid or not, this is what I was going to do every day, still to this day. I just, I got lucky by taking that chance and going and being all in on something I passionately love so much that it's worked out. Now, and I can just sitting here interviewing you, I can feel and see your passion. Um, so then in high school, um, we talked a little bit about art classes, and you had mentioned Golcom, and how did that come about? Yeah, well, um, in my early teens, uh, in high school, finally, you know, there were, I mean, in junior high, I took an art class too, but, I, you know, the, the traditional class you have. Then in high school, I took it. They put me instantly in advanced art class there. And then uh, when I was 16, I was, I was snowboarding a lot. You know, snowboarding wasn't as big as now. But then when I was 16, I got sponsored by Volcom, which is a very art-driven company, which was really cool, which I really liked about them. And then they noticed my art, and they were like, wow, not only can you snowboard, but maybe in the off seasons in the summer, you can work in the art department, do shop displays, and create t-shirt designs and that. So. Um, that kind of really opened up my avenue, like, wow, I can start making money as an artist now, which kind of opened the door up to that trail that was laid there. So we are going to talk about some plans for future projects. Do you have anything? I know you have a lot going on getting ready here, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. But, you know, so when you, when you lay in bed at night, are you still thinking about what am I going to do next? Oh. All, every night's a sleepless night. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot going on, um, and more comes at me every day. I am opening up the gallery of one in my hometown, San Clemente, which has been a lifelong goal of mine. So very proud of that. Um, another thing I'm very proud of is I'm working with a historical society in San Clemente, and doing. I have a whole campaign with Ole Hansen, the founder, Keep San Clemente Beautiful. So I'm actually rolling out that project to help give them a facility to house all the old deeds and historical items because right now they don't have a location that their location got shut down and it's all in storage. So I'm doing a big city project to roll out for the Historical Society in my hometown. Um, I have a few collaborations I really can't mention with clothing that are in the works right now. Um, I have watches. I'm working with Jeffrey Roth, a high-end, amazing, handmade watches. So I have a whole one-of-a-kind hand-painted bezels watch series coming out with him um, next month. A lot of my projects I'm going at now, I want it to just really be um, set different levels. You know, I don't want, you know, I think a lot of artists, you see their work, you see what they do, what they're good at, and that's it. Where I like to have so much diversity to my work, it's like, oh my God, he does canvas paintings, computers, this, guitars, watches, on every, you know, it's forms of patience that they take, integrity, you know, so not just paintings, all the different materials I use. So I just like to show a lot of different levels. So a lot of the collaborations I'm going at now are just really different that bring a different element to my whole gallery look. So when is the grand opening? Grand opening for the gallery is going to be December. We're going to open the doors for full red carpet and going to unveil four years worth of my work that I've been working on for this gallery. I haven't exposed any of it. 
Finally, I'm hanging it up on the walls as you start to see here and gonna unveil it to the world.